Well, the good thing is there's no noise coming from this bearing at all. None. Yeah, so that's good and there's no movement. But I do think I need to check it. Just in case, you know. So just put any water in it. Wheel bearings. <clears throat> it's one of those jobs. Oh, well. Yeah, I'll do it later. I'll do it when I come back from the trip. Um, and then the other day, you know, I was traveling and I was, you know, looking at this bloke over there, side of the Bruce Highway, um, you know, wheels off. Um, yeah, undoubtedly issues with wheel bearings, lack of maintenance, blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, to get caught out like that, you know, is uh, not a good thing. Anyway, prevention. So a bit of preventative maintenance uh, is always a good idea, particularly when you're, you know, you're driving your boat trailer in and out of uh, um, uh, salt water, uh, because the chances of uh, water actually uh, uh, bypassing the seal um, are, are pretty high, really. Yeah, so tell water give you these beautiful shiny wheel nuts as you can see they certainly don't hold up to the elements and i wash my trailer every time i come back you know from out of the seawater anyway i don't really have to take the um the wheel uh, off to check the bearings but i might just have to have to See, this might have a bit of co corrosion on it. Just tapping from side to side. I'm using a brass hammer. Maybe we could just sort of wedge that out. There we go. Look. It actually looks pretty good in there, so I'm going to leave it alone. Because if it doesn't um, sound like it needs fixing, why bother? I'll just put this back. Now, these stud nuts are really badly corroded, so I think I'm going to have to replace these because, um, you know, they're becoming nearly deformed. Uh, meaning that one day when I really do have to take this wheel off I might not be able to get a, um, a socket on there to actually uh, take these uh, nuts off oh well lower this down and have to sort of move the boat around a bit to get to the other side I'll tighten that back up So again, there's no noise at all, and absolutely um, no um, um, slack. So it's okay. I would say I think one is a little bit but again, no need to fix something that doesn't really need fixing. These wheel nuts are not as bad, but still, I'm going to replace them. Okay, that's all I need to take to the boat shop and to make sure that I get um, uh, similar ones. So I'm going to need 10 all up. Yes, yeah, so I was able to obtain some um, new 
um, yeah, they're only zinc really, um, wheel nuts. And uh, the disadvantage is, I guess, you know, with these chrome wheel nuts, the ends of those studs are concealed. Um, but, you know, the, the, the rust on these is, 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 is really bad. So, I've decided to replace them um, and uh, maybe do something to, uh, to sort of, uh, you know, put a coating on, uh, over the studs or, yeah, to stop them from corroding. And I'm undoing them by hand a little bit just to back them off, not to put too much strain on uh, the old um, ratchet gun. So I've backed them all off. And that wheel is uh, is free. I'll just put this on the impact driver. And I'll just replace them one by one. Do it in a crisscross pattern, just to keep your tension a bit better. There we go. So I've changed them all, replaced them, I'm going to drop the jack down and then I'll uh, do a hand tighten with, the, uh, with this one right here. Noteworthy, this is a 13 16 and that's a 3 quarter and this 3 quarter fits those wheel nuts a lot better. So this side here these wheel nuts are much worse. In fact, there's one, this one here is really quite bad. And um, so the last thing you want to do is get stuck on the highway somewhere or somewhere remote and uh, you uh, stick your socket on the end of that wheel nut and it just strips it because there's, the rust has eaten away a um, significant uh, amount of metal uh, that your um, socket just doesn't bite or doesn't even fit of course that's an extreme case but it is called prevention preventative maintenance so luckily um, these are, are going to be able to come off uh, <clears throat> without too much drama So I'll save three of these that are in reasonable condition and I'll give them a bit of a tidy up and put them uh, inside my uh, spare toolbox. So the whole point of this very short little video basically is that once in a while it's just to remind everyone you know that once in a while you really do need to, to do a routine check on the condition of your wheel bearings because you know your um, $15,000 investment um, you know is sitting on you know a trailer uh, that basically relies on the correct operation of uh, those things right there it's as simple as that thanks for watching